Hi guys, it's Lori Ballen here. If this is the first time you're finding me, I am a six-figure affiliate marketer. I also own multiple businesses from real estate to shampoo, and everything is pretty much driven through content. So blogging, video, podcasting, social media, Pinterest, that type of thing. Blogging and search engine rankings is definitely my specialty and has been for a long, long time. So I had to share with you a couple of really cool hacks using WordPress Gutenberg. Now, as a blogger, I'm blogging and making videos and podcasts and whatnot all day long, but just about all the content I create is repurposed. So the podcast becomes a blog, a video becomes a blog, a blog becomes a video, a video becomes a podcast, that kind of that kind of thing. So I'm all, all day, I have seven websites that I'm feeding and creating content for, and so I need this to be fast and efficient, right? I don't want to take shortcuts that are going to dilute my efforts. I want these shortcuts to enhance the user experience to improve the process. Well, WordPress rolled out Gutenberg recently, and Gutenberg is their editor. WordPress is a super comprehensive content management system slash website blog. And Gutenberg basically gave us this cool feature right here up in the left hand corner. You click the plus sign and we now have content blocks. These blocks allow us to do certain things, formatting, color, sizing of text changes, adding widgets, videos, embed items. We can embed pins, we can do buttons, we can do columns, lists, all kinds of things. But the coolest thing, couple of things I'm gonna show you today. I was sitting here making this blog just now and I said, I've gotta show my people this really cool thing. So on Facebook, a couple minutes ago, I'm over here on Facebook. And I asked the question, would you rather, would you rather listen to an interview of someone you want to learn from on a video where you can see the interview, on a blog where you can read the interview, listen to a podcast or all of the above? Now, I will just share with you super quickly. The overwhelming response popularity is video, podcast being second, but video, clear, clear, clear winner. So I thought to myself, okay, this is a blog post. I go over here to lauriballon.com, which is where I do most of my um, general training around blogging and marketing. And I'm creating this blog post. So would you rather watch, read, or listen to an inter interview? That's the title, quick intro, and then I embedded the Facebook post so that the followers can read it. And then I'm going to write a little blog about it. You know, why did people say video? What is the... You know, why, why is video still such a leader in the industry? How would one get started with video? That's kind of where I'm going with this. But down at the bottom here, there's, um, a, there's a couple things I really like to do. And one of them is I like to include related articles, articles that are related to this blog that somebody might click over and also read, okay? Now, I'm doing this in several ways. I'm doing this with internal linking where a keyword is going to link to another page on my website automatically. So I'm using a plugin, I'll put it in the um, link below. I'm using a plugin that automatically links certain keywords and it links them either to another page on my website, it links them to one of my other websites that's more appropriate to what they're looking for or it relates to an affiliate um, an affiliate link. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, I earn six figures as an affiliate marketer. And what that basically means is I promote other people's products and services. I create a relationship with that person and I receive some sort of benefit when somebody makes a purchase through that link. Sometimes I even get paid when they click through on the link. So it is a very important strategy for me. It's, um, it, it is actually my highest income earner today is um, that affiliate income stream. It even beats my real estate business now. And um, uh, I would say it's, it's, yeah, it's probably higher than my speaking and training side now. All right, so that, I'm gonna show you in a second and why this, where that comes into play. But down at the bottom here, I like to include these related links. And I, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll drip them in between here and say, you might also like how to, blah, 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 set up a YouTube channel or others have read, right? But this cool thing here, I can click on Gutenberg block and I can add posts. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to add related posts, latest posts. 
So what this audit, did you see that? I clicked one button and what it does is it drops in my most recent articles on this blog. Now that in itself is very beneficial. I can click a title and call it um, marketing guides or tutorials or something along that line and drop it in there so that they see what they're looking at. But I can also then over here, I can sort this and say, show newest to oldest, show oldest to newest, right? So it'll go way back and pull up some of your older stuff and get, get some traffic there. A to Z or Z to A. And you can mix this all up all throughout your blog so that you have this variety. But even cooler than that, oh, and by the way, down here, you can change how many items are on that list. So you could create one page all around a particular thing and include 100 links in there if you want to, okay? You can choose to display the post date or not, okay? And so what happens here, though, is I can even do this one better. This blog, po blog is going to be primarily about YouTube, about creating videos why it's important in 2019. I'm going to include statistics on how many people want video. I'm going to include my poll on how they want video. So th this is going to be probably ranking on the search engines for things related to video, and that's what it's going to be attracting. So somebody reading a blog about video isn't necessarily going to be interested in $2 million in real estate sales from one knocked door. They're, they might not be real estate agents, et cetera, et cetera. So what I can do instead is I can click on here, have this little box on the right pop up and watch this category. Now these are all categories that I blog about frequently. So I build a website, I start blogging and the blogs are called posts, right? You can do web pages, you can do posts. They're technically all, all pages, but posts go under a particular category. So when I create a category is when I know I'm going to be blogging a lot about something specific. If I'm only blogging about it one time, it's going under a general blog and it might have tags on it for keywords. But if I'm going to blog about it three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, dozens of times, it's going to have a category. So you can see here that I have all of these categories related to marketing, affiliate marketing, analytics, blogging, branding. CRMs, email marketing, lead cultivation, lead conversion, et cetera, et cetera, SEO, social media. Well, obviously I've got a section here on video. Now watch what happens here when I change to video. Now every related article is about video. So this not only is going to be more appealing to that person that's on this page and my desire for this person on this page is always going to be for them to click whatever my primary um, offer is, but there's a lot of people who scroll to the middle and click on an affiliate link or click over to another page on the website. And oftentimes if they're doing a quick skim or they're reading a table of contents, they might want to see what other guides you have here. So instead of marketing guides, I'm going to change this to YouTube tutorials. Okay. Now what's going to happen is after I finish this blog and I put several of these headings in there, there's going to be an automatic table of contents up top. And in that table of contents will be this YouTube tutorials button. And they might just click right there and shoot right to the bottom of this blog, scan this and click over to something else. So now my goal is to reduce bounce rates, increase click through rates, this is a positive sign to Google and helps me rank better on the search engines. That is, like I said, my primary source of traffic. Um, and now, of course, we have uh, social, YouTube, Pinterest, um, podcast behind, behind that. But Google is definitely still my number one. And it's my favorite because it's organic. It's evergreen. I don't have to pay for those leads. Once the content is created, you know, I'm paying for hosting, of course, and whatever tools that I use, but I'm not paying for an ad that drives those people over. So it's a much more affordable, um, more profitable, profitable way of doing business for me. So that's one hack I wanted to show you today is this related post or latest post, they call this. Okay. Now let me show you this other stupid, cool Oh my gosh, I, I love this. If you're into this stuff, you might get tickled by this. If you're new at it, you may not totally get it. 
But what I did is I sat down and I created a list of my favorite tools. Okay. So I came up here and I added a block and I made a list. You see this? And then I just started writing what my tools are that I use every day in my business. Okay. That's what I did. I did this the other day. Now, in our old WordPress, we didn't have the ability to do this, but with Gutenberg, you can actually save a block to be used again later. So watch how cool this is. Now I go down here, I put a list and I put my favorite tools. Now as an affiliate marketer, this is so important that I get people clicking through to my tools that I use because primarily for me, my six figures comes from software recurring subscriptions. So I get paid month over month, year over year on subscriptions that people buy to use in their business. And they buy those to use in their business because I use them and I teach and train on them. Okay. I don't use them all, but most of the ones people sign up for it's because they're seeing me use it. Right. And they want it. They love it. They want to learn more about it. They follow my tutorials or they're in Balan Academy where I have my training course and they're learning how to use all of these tools. So it's important for me to include these. So what I can do now, I've saved it. Watch this. Click on the little plus and I'm going to go to my reusable blocks, but I, I, I know what it is in my keyword. So I can just look it up by keyword here. Tools. There it is. My favorite tools. Now, typically, you would have made all of these links, but watch what happens in my case. As you can see, none of these are linked, right? Now watch, I'm going to hit preview. We're going to open a preview of what the blog looks like without actually publishing it so that you can take a look and see what happens to those links. So we're going to scroll down. So here we go, right? Intro. There's that Facebook post. There's that call to action button. There's those tutorials we popped in there, latest post. Now look, my favorite tools. Now look what happened, you guys. Remember, we did not link these. You see those are all linked. That is, I'm using an automatic linker. So all I do is I go in there one time and I say, every time I say IDX or IDX broker or whatever it is, I want it to link to this URL. Now, the reason why I did, I did not like doing this just on my general websites. I, I like to, I like to choose a certain number of links going out on each page. And I now I'm finding that my pages still rank very high, even if I have a lot of external links. I've also set these up to be no follow links. If you're into SEO, you're understanding, you know, you, I'm not passing as much page flow to that receiving link. I, preset them to all open in a new window. And I do, I do all of that in the, in my automatic linking app again, in the link description below. And so when somebody clicks on spy foo or Grammarly or listings to leads, it's opening in a new tab in a new window. And it's either a landing page that I've specifically created for that, which I have not done for all of them yet because I built this so quickly, or it goes directly to that, um, affiliate. Right. And then when somebody makes a purchase. Now, the reason why I like doing this now, rather than going in and manually creating each link is because what I have found is links break. And if you post manual links every time throughout your pages and a, and a, and that person's link is no longer valid, or you want to change the direction to a different page, or you want it to say email software and you want to change now everywhere on your website that it says email software, you would have to go in and manually find those and change them. And it is awful with this. I can now change it one time in my affiliate linker, or I can change it one time in my content block and it will update all the links or all the blocks. Okay. So for example, this button here is a saved button. See how it says, get the Balan method to marketing complete bundle and learn how to generate more leads online. If I click edit, I can make that button yellow and all of the buttons now will turn yellow for this particular saved content block. 
So anywhere else I used that content block on my website, that would turn yellow. So this is giving me so much more control over my entire website and where I want to send things and the ease of changing things. And I'm telling you, if you are at all into affiliate marketing or blogging, if you are building a bunch of content, this is the way to go. Now, there's um, if you don't yet have WordPress, I want to give you a couple options. Um, one, WordPress is super simple. It's uh, it's WordPress itself is a free platform, but you're not going to rank on the search engines, which is a free platform. You've got to have it hosted somewhere in a public facing hosted platform. And there's several ways to do this. And what you do is you choose your host typically, and then your host gives you WordPress. So you click a couple buttons and boom, 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 here comes your WordPress. Now design elements are another whole nother piece. So WordPress has a theme and you will have the ability to choose different themes. And I'm gonna get into all of that. I've got all of that in my other videos and also in Balan Academy where my training course is, um, but you're gonna, you could choose um, someplace like, I'll put links below, there's so many, there's WP Engine, there's GoDaddy, there's Bluehost, there's um, HostGator, um, StudioPress has one where you set up the whole thing. And one of my favorites is Wealthy Affiliate, which I'll put in the description below. Um, and if you're learning affiliate marketing, that's a great place to start because for one low monthly fee, you actually get uh, multiple dozens of WordPress websites and premium themes, regular themes or premium themes, plus your HTTP, HTTPS secure certificate, um, health reports. It's really pretty comprehensive and incredible. I'm really impressed. So if you're a beginner, now the only drawback is you're kind of doing a little do-it-yourself theme. And if you're not, if you're not tech savvy, you can get really stuck with that. Okay. Now, my brothers over at balanbrands.com, uh, they are the servicers and developers for WordPress. So if you're saying, hey, I want what Lori has, I want WordPress Gutenberg, I want it to do all this, just call them up, balanbrands.com. They can help put it together. So they're, they're the service side. I'm your coach and trainer. You want to learn with me here on my websites and in my academy and on my YouTube channel and in my podcast, whatever. Um, I teach you all the th strategies that I do, but I just thought this was a super, super cool. Um, actually, I think I showed you three hacks today. I showed you latest posts. I showed you the automatic linker and I showed you um, the how to reuse a content block, like with all your tools and, and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it was super, super valuable as well. Um, take a look at this next video here coming up right now.